Pisces, hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 5th to the 11th of June 2023. Big news this week um, and the way I do my readings, I'm having a change of layout for a few weeks to see how that goes. Going back a bit to the quick fire reading that I used to do before I worked full time, where it's one card per day for the upcoming week, but I will clarify each of those. We'll begin with two Moonology Oracles, do that weekly reading, and close with the Star Temple Oracle. Okay, so 5th to the 11th of June 2023, clear messages from Spirit, please, for Pisces. And there's two popped out straight away. So the first one, the full moon in Gemini, the answers you need are coming. Love that, wow. So maybe a few questions you're asking at the moment and the north node step out of your comfort zone maybe um, a different way of doing things here I still say legally and morally for everything like that but um, it may be that you need to step out of your comfort zone to get some answers that you are wanting wow okay so Pisces So they are general readings only, just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur and cross watches are welcome. There is the like and subscribe button down here as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you if you like and subscribe there. Right, so Pisces, overall, Six of Cups, dealing with something from the past here. This may be fond memories, a bit of butterflies in your tummy feeling um, around some sort of reconciliation. It may be around love, um, going back to a hometown you once lived in, a job you once worked at. Others of you, this may be a past with not so fond memories. That's just like, hell no, there's no way we're going back there. But we will clarify shortly. Monday you get the seven of pentacles starting the week a lot of hard work that you are putting in to get things to progress to get things to grow it may feel like it is one step forward and two steps back at the moment as you sort one thing out seven more things may pop out of place and that continues on like that Tuesday princess of wands very compassionate very giving with your time and with your energy this is about um, if somebody needs some help, they may be coming to you. Pisces is a very giving um, sign. So this is um, possibly somebody wanting some help and you're stepping up to the mark here. Um, others of you, very giving with your ideas, sharing your ideas of what you want to do and where you want to be heading. To Wednesday, you get the High Priestess. Not wanting to be overwhelmed by too much all at once um, as I said one step forward two steps back but you're not wanting suddenly seven steps forward and it's like holy hell we haven't taken care of all this along the way this is about having the guard up a bit but being quite observant sitting back very content to just watch what's going on around you and not get too involved um, in too much all at once Thursday, Seven of Wands, not giving up, not quitting. Just because you are taking a step back here doesn't mean that you are giving up. Okay, you may not be quitting on yourself, you may not be quitting on a situation here, but ultimately um, this is persistence that is happening here. This may be stepping out of your comfort zone to dig your heels in. It may mean heading in a different direction to still get your result. Um, and that may be a bit unfamiliar, but it's still not giving up and not quitting. Your end focus is there. Friday, Pisces, banging your head against the brick wall at times with the Five of Swords, some sort of battle you have to contend with. This may be something to do with the past, but this is about if you stay and fight, it's a victory for you, and if you walk away, it's a victory for you. But dealing and working through this battle, this may be stepping out of your comfort zone to um, take care of business, I always say legally and morally, but to deal with this battle so that you're not just getting one hell of a headache all the time here. Saturday, Pisces, celebration. I say crack open the champagne with that. Um, this is celebrating something that is, you know, the answers you need are coming. 
they may be here now and it's finally like aha uh -huh, now i know and this is still something to celebrate the hard work that may be paying off here it is celebrating whether it's virtually online whether you get together with friends and family it is happening sunday eight of cups then i feel like you are able to actually look around and realize what is holding you back what this battle is and what is holding you back from moving forward and having this emotional detachment here in order to keep things moving in a forward direction and that may be something from the past as well that you've finally been able to detach from if that's the case but ultimately you're coming out of with this with celebration these answers you need are coming stepping out of your comfort zone maybe in a different direction but ultimately celebrating along that journey so pisces let's clarify everything starting with the six of cups overall for the week king of wands the magician seven of cups feel like this is just at this stage where you're not letting the past hold you back from moving forward you know what you want who you want and where you want to be you've been manifesting a way to leave up some sort of past behind and to be able to look at other options of where you're heading to now these other options may exactly be that north node stepping out of your comfort zone and looking at something completely different than you would have even looked at previously it's about not taking the repeat patterns the first thing that looks good everybody does do that but this is maybe looking at something completely different and out of the blue wow monday seven of pentacles pisces three of swords six of swords ace of cups maybe some sort of third party energy here that's been causing some heartbreak whether it's around love around work around home some meddling some interference and you are taking plans here you're putting some solid plans and taking action to get things moving in a forward direction we said it may even be to another job you once worked at or to another hometown you once lived in but you are putting the hard work in to get things moving forward so that some sort of new chapter can begin when it does come to love a job you love 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 or a home you love existing relationships somebody brand new the hard work and the plans that are being put in place to leave that heart break behind wow tuesday princess of wands ace of pentacles four of swords princess of swords definitely a successful new chapter of a new beginning that is happening here i feel like from sharing your ideas of where you want to be heading here you're able to take some time out to do some healing and focus um focus here on because it's out of your comfort zone you're able to focus here on where to from from this step forward but um it is about bring it on you're ready for this bring this new chapter on you're ready to get this journey moving the high priestess not wanting to be overwhelmed all at once here the hanged man eight of wands eight of pentacles feel like you are I don't want to say content and just waiting and sitting on the fence here but um, it's giving you that time to observe and see what's happening around you and even from a hanged man position where you feel like you are left hanging you have that you have that moment to be able to do this healing and to see very clearly what's happening around you here everyone on the same page when it comes to communication not shutting the world off not turning your back on everything and everyone even though the hard work continues here make sure everyone is on the same page and you know what the other is expecting of of you know what one is expecting of the other when it works both ways seven of wands not giving up here the lovers four of pentacles five of pentacles soulmate twin flame somebody significant um, may have connection to a gemini here but um, again existing relationship somebody brand new somebody may not be giving up on the other here even though it feels like there's something or someone you're not able to release possibly from this past over here where you have felt left out in the cold maybe around this hanged man energy but now you are starting to move forward to warmer energy something more pleasant 
and it still comes from sheer persistence and not giving up. But I feel like there is somebody significant here that is not giving up on you or you're not giving up on them as you do move forward to something more manageable. Friday, Five of Swords, Pisces. Ace of Wands, the Empress, the Devil. May have connection to a Capricorn here, but this is this battle. This may be an addiction of some sort, whether it's within, whether it's somebody close to you, but um, it's holding you back. You feel stuck and bound and chained to this negative energy, and it's just, as I said, feels like you're banging your head against a brick wall to break free from that. But um, again, here it is, the Empress. You're a very intuitive sign. This is using your intuition, following your heart, following your gut instinct, and knowing what's going on here. And ready to focus on some sort of new chapter, some sort of new beginning, and to maybe step out of your comfort zone, but in order for these answers to start coming through and to be able to break free from that toxic, unhealthy energy. Wow. Because until Saturday, you are celebrating Pisces. So this may be actually a big step, big step through. Step up, step through. But celebration. Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, the Hierophant. May have connection to a Taurus here. Some peer pressure that's been put on you to do things in a way that's not agreeable to you. And I feel as well, maybe tied to this negative energy, but this is where you are following your heart. You are speaking up. You're following your beliefs here and doing things your way. You're proud of the hard work you've put in and you're proud of the achievements along the way. And you are still standing here with a lot of um, obstacles that you have had to overcome to get here. Maybe a bit battle scarred, a bit battle weary, I usually say, but this is about now having nothing holding you back. That is worth celebrating. And Eight of Cups to finish, realizing this emotional detachment here on Sunday. The Star, the Hermit, the World. Three Arcanas there, brilliant, brilliant energy too. Focusing on your dreams, your wishes, your hopes. May have a um, connection to Aquarius, maybe to a Virgo here, but seeing light at the end of the tunnel, doing some soul searching, some contemplation, what it is you want, where it is you want to be, who it is you want to be with, and making these dreams become a reality, still legally and morally making those, making those dreams happen. But ultimately here, the backing of the world, divine timing things have happened for a reason and things will continue to happen for a reason we just don't always know the reason why at that moment but there is some sort of emotional detachment here that is happening in order to follow your dreams and to get to that light at the end of the tunnel right there and as I said that world has got your back so let's see what the universe says Pisces Two of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, the Empress. Again, your gut instinct, your intuition here, knowing what path to take, taking the blindfold off and looking at each option carefully. You talked about options overall clarifying, and this is working out what is right for you. Not turning your back on everything, still continuing the hard work, but to be put on your true path towards that light at the end of the tunnel, towards your dreams and your goals and your hopes here. <coughs> this may be all around questions on where to be heading, but the answers you need are coming. Is that full moon in Gemini. So let's finish with Star Temple Oracle. I'm fucked out there. Yet number 29, the Aquamarine Star Expression. I express my intuition with self-confidence and love. You've had the Empress twice throughout the reading and we said very intuitive sign. Love that. Star words, fluent, fluid, flowing. The serene energy of Aquamarine makes it the ultimate crystal companion for peace and well-being. When combined with the throat chakra, this crystal promotes verbal self-expression, enhances spiritual communication, and clears communication blocks. 
The aquamarine star inspires you to express your intuitive insights with compassion and confidence. Tegeta encourages you to share your helpful wisdom with conviction and poise. Fear often prevents fluent expression and transparency. Focus on service and love, not fear. When you speak your innate truth, others will listen. And those may be the answers you need that are coming when you speak up. So Pisces, that's what I have for the week. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.